Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for another episode of the Review Channel. Appreciate you tuning in for this episode, very special episode. But before we start, please hit that subscribe button below. It will help me out quite a bit. As always, I do appreciate that. I also send some likes up, it'd be great. So this episode's about the flip clock fix. Now, if you ever go any sourcing, go into yard sales, estate sales, and so forth, you might find some old electronics, old clocks. I love the old flip clocks. Sometimes they don't work. It could be a tuner issue, it could be a light issue, and so on. So I found this awesome clock. And I want to show you what I did and let's get into the video right now. This is called the flip clock fix I hope you enjoy the video and please subscribe So I was out looking around and I found this awesome vintage flip clock That's a really cool flip clock. It wasn't a lot of money. So the story behind this is is that I was at a store a thrift store and looking around and I see this clock sitting near the station plugged in and just sitting there for $5.99 I'm saying, okay, well, price is right, what's wrong? So it was just sitting there, so that's unusual to find any of these in, in any any place, because most people know the flip clocks are, are pretty valuable, you can't find them. Um, 70s, early 80s, right around there, they made these clocks. And so I went to go plug it in, and I plugged it in, and I heard nothing. But the light was on, so that was a good sign. Turned it on, heard nothing, um, just, so I was kind of bummed out. I went to plug it in and I heard like a little, sh little staticky, but nothing, nothing major. Like it was like a little bit of noise. So I said, five bucks, it was senior day. I got it for like 350. I mean, the worst case scenario, I could throw it in the trash or redonate it or parts, whatever. So <clears throat> I did some digging around, looked into it. And I'll tell you this stuff here, I bought a while ago. If you can see it, one second. This stuff's a miracle. So it's, Deoxid 5, D5. So this stuff is awesome. This stuff, does it breaks up corrosion, uh, breaks up, it helps with this. If it's staticky and electronics and components, you spray this inside the, the resistors and the transistors and all the things that move around, like anything that moves around, you spray it. All these things here have like capacitors on, they move around. So they get staticky, they get full of gunk and gum. So I notice here, AM and FM. So this is the basic tuna controller. So what I do is I pull this knob off, you pull off the knob, and inside here is a tuner. So basically it's a tuner selector. So what I did, and this is just so you know, so it's anything that's kind of, it's a really good trick. So this was sitting there dead. Nobody wanted it. You plugged it in, there was really nothing happening. A little bit of noise, but really nothing. AM, FM, nothing would work. Took some of this deoxid D5, sprayed it inside here, all inside the tuner selector. Moved it around, moved it around, back and forth, back and forth, and just, you know, because you want to just loosen up the gunk and the gum and everything. And so I put this back on. Okay, so so this is the tuna selector. It's a little stiff, as you can hear. So it goes back and forth. So as soon as I cleaned it up, I let it sit there for about a couple of minutes. Put turn the radio on. Bingo, bango. All right. Here, but now in the next three years after that, 20 there you go. Works beautiful. I'm in, the, I'm in uh, my basement area, that's why it's uh, static. So you can hear that's pretty kind of cool. That works. You can see, you can see inside here. It's hard to see, but the light goes on. So this clock radio now, you can sell this clock radio right now, fifty bucks, sixty bucks, no problem. Three dollars and fifty cents to buy it. I've had this for quite a while. You just spray it inside with any type. If there's a tuner or a crackling noise or any kind of sound, this stuff's the best. You may, I make this thing made me a ton of money. I think I paid like maybe eight bucks, ten bucks. I forget. So that's this is a cool, a cool find, a cool fix. I hope you get some good information about this. Definitely the way to go. If you see anything that's like this in any thrift stores and you think it's broken, it's really not. Take a look at it. You got nothing to lose. It's not a big investment. People, have something, they were just afraid to touch it. You know, afraid to look at it. So nothing to lose. So now I'm selling this for fifty bucks. I paid three dollars and fifty cents, and that's how you do it. Any questions or any comments, leave below. I hope this was informative for you. I hope you learned something about, you know, finding any kind of finds you see at an estate sale or a yard sale or a thrift store or whatever. Don't be afraid to try it. You get nothing to lose. Not a lot of money invested in this. Um, and that's just it. It's a really cool vintage piece. And that's it. So I hope you like this quick review on how to not leave money behind. This is just leaving cash on the table. It's a lot of money here. 
and very easy fix. And hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions or comments, again, leave below. I appreciate that. Please subscribe to my channel. It does help me out as always. And thanks for tuning into the review channel. And you make it a great day.